Hi guys, this is a video on Windows operating systems. This time I'm talking about removing Windows Vista and installing Windows XP. Now why am I doing this? Well I've had a couple of friends um, say to me, and some messages on YouTube as well, saying to me that they've bought a PC, a new PC, and has come preloaded with Windows Vista. Now, um, they've found Windows Vista to be crap, basically. They've said it's rubbish, it's slow, and all this, so this goes on. It doesn't work with people's webcams, printers, blah, blah, blah. Um, I won't go into that, and I'm not going to go into how, um, an opinion, my opinion on Windows Vista, because I don't want to start any arguments. So, um, all I'm going to do is how, show you how to remove it and install Windows XP. Now, there's a couple of checks you need to do. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure everything is backed up. If you've done any work inside Windows Vista, make sure it's all backed up. So, make sure you have a blank CD or a flash drive, because what we're going to be doing is wiping the entire computer and then putting XP on it. So, um, make sure everything's backed up. Now, the next thing to do is to make sure you know the drive that your um, operating system is installed on because some people have more than one drive. For instance, um, this is my XP machine. I have um, more than one drive on here. It says the C drive and the H drive. My H drive is recovery, which has actually got Vista inside it. So, if I ever wanted to recover to Vista, I can. Um, but basically, uh, you may have a C drive and a D drive, and the D drive um, usually, if you have, if your um, computer is split into two, D, the D drive or something is usually um, where you store music and documents and things like that. But either way, um, you need to make sure you know which drive you're installing it to. Now, Windows Vista defaults to drive C, so usually Windows Vista is installed on your drive C. But you need to know the um, the size of it. So mine says 290 gig here. If I show you in Windows Vista, you just go Start Computer. Uh, this has only got one drive, but you'll notice it's 8 gigabytes, and it's almost full already, um, just by the install of Vista. So, um, it's almost 8 gigabytes, so I, need, I now know that when I go to install XP, whatever I install it onto needs to be 8 gigabytes. So, that's the first thing you need to, well, two, two things you need to do, which is um, backing up and finding the drive that you're going to install it onto. Now, the next thing to do is to have a look in Device Manager. Now, you need to right-click Computer, Properties and go into device manager and accept it if it asks you and um, what you need to do is basically have a look these are all the things that are in your computer now you want to be able to in case Windows because Windows XP will give you um, default drivers that it has on its disk but as you've got Windows Vista and if you've got a Windows Vista clean installed PC you need to find drivers that will work with Windows XP now drivers are information on the hardware you have in your the stuff you've got on your PC that runs Vista that can run inside Vista. So, like I've got disk drives here. Um, oh no, that's a bad example. I've got a display driver here, and it says VMware that controls this. Um, all the, it controls the graphics card basically that's inside the PC. So you basically need to. Uh, most important ones you need to find are either the network adapter um, or the modem. It will say modem here if you use a modem or a, a USB modem or something like that. Um, you need to basically find drivers for these so you can install them straight away when you get your computer so it may be worth downloading them on your Vista computer and um, putting them onto disk so you can install them straight away and the reason I say display and network and uh, modem is most important is because firstly you you may end up with a huge resolution because it hasn't found your um, your graphics card so you install that and you can have a proper resolution and the modem is basically to connect to the internet to find other drivers so um, uh, you'll need the internet, internet access is most important if you're trying to download other drivers now um, it, uh, that's pretty much it really it's just finding some drivers if you can um, if not you may you may have to do it you have to hunt out some disks for your um, hardware or something um, maybe some things don't work with XP but they work with Vista I don't know but either way we're going to try this anyway so um, that's about it really so you've got drivers you've got everything backed up and you know the drive that you're installing too so um, you now need to get hold of your XP disk. Um, now I've already made an image of it on my computer, so this is the XP disk I have. It's called XP.ISO, and I'm basically going to load it into my virtual machine. This is a virtual machine; it isn't a real computer. Um, going to load the disk into it as if you were putting a disk into the CD drive. So I'm just going to go to settings and um, CD-ROM, use ISO image, and then put in XP. So basically, I've just inserted XP into the into the virtual machine, and then you notice it's come up autoplay. So um, you're now ready to say goodbye to Vista, so we're going to um, we're going to restart the computer now, and we're going to wave bye bye to Vista. Bye. Um, so the computer will then restart. You need to make sure you can boot to a CD-ROM drive. Oops, I've not been very quick there. 
Uh, you need to make sure you can boot from a CD-ROM drive. <laughs> ah, I'll get there. There we go. Uh, you need to be able to or get into the boot menu somehow so you can select CD-ROM drive and then it will boot from your CD. You see, press any key to boot from CD. Press the key. And it says, now inspecting your hardware configuration. And it says F6 if you need to do a RAID drive or SCSI. And this will go a little bit quicker because it's running off my hard drive, so you'll notice that it loads things very quickly, but if it's running from a CD, it will take a lot longer. So, there you go, we're starting Windows already. So, uh, this is the main thing to install Windows XP. Now you need to make sure you have a CD to do this, so we're going to press Enter. You see we've got Windows Licensing Agreement, I've agreed to give it my life. And you'll notice that now it says Windows XP Professional Setup. And it says 8190 disk not a disk ID on bus not on Atapi MBR. So this is the drive I'm installing to because it's 8 gigabytes, it's 8,000 megabytes. So that's the one I want to install to. Um, you may have more than one. If you know I was talking about the more than one hard disk, you may have more than one, and it'll say C, D, E, F or something. And then the size was important, so you need to make sure that that, that size is the one you're going to install to. Now this has got Vista on it, which is what it says 2299 megabytes free out of. 8.91. So what we need to do is actually delete this partition. So we're going to click it and we're going to press D. It says this partition you try to delete is a system partition. System partitions may contain diagnostic or hardware configuration, blah blah blah. And we're going to delete it by pressing enter. And it says, ah, do you really want to do this? And it says delete it, press L. So I'm going to press L. And you'll now notice it says unpartitioned space. So basically it's just there's nothing there anymore. As uh, you haven't got a disk there either, um, unless you format it. So you then press enter to install, then it will ask you if it can format it for you. And usually you, you want to do the format the partition using the NTFS file system quick. Because you can go through it um, manually, but NTFS, you'll be using the space anyway. So press that, and it's now going to format the disk. And it's saying partition new, raw, and it's doing a quick format, so we won't have to wait too long for this to do it. But I mean, this is pretty much it from um, from what you need to know. I mean, I can keep the cam, um, the web, the screencast going, but um, you probably know what to do from this. You need to make sure you've got your product key ready to install it, and then at the end of it, um, it will ask you for your keyboard drivers. Um, it will ask you for sorry keyboard layout, uh, your username, and uh, product key, networking settings, and things like that. So. Um, it's not too difficult to do, uh, as you noticed, and all you need to do is wipe your Vista drive uh, clean uh, by deleting it in this XP setup and then putting XP onto it. So that's pretty much it. This is a basic thing for people who want to know. Everyone who's asked me, this is how you do it. Um, just make sure you have your XP CD and that you've backed everything up and that you've tried to get as many drivers as possible. So thanks for watching my video. Please um, rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.